The film begins with a man named Oscar, a radio announcer who was hosting a radio program on a famous radio station called Familia FM Radio for his loyal listeners. Shortly after, Oscar got a call from someone who started telling about her boyfriend, who was cheating on her and asked for advice from Oscar regarding it. Then, Oscar responded and provided the best solution for her. After that, while waiting for the next caller, Oscar conveyed interesting information about a singing competition that would be held by Familia FM Radio. When Oscar was explaining the competition, his team suddenly told him that a loyal listener named Curran had just called. Indeed, Curran had often sent letters to Familia Radio beforehand, containing the story of her life in search of her biological father. This is what makes the radio's rating increase, because the loyal listeners were always looking forward to the continuation of Karen's story in search of her father. Karen was a young woman who lived in the village. Her mother recently died of illness. Little Karen had never felt the love of a father, though she always asked about her father to her mother. Her mother never told her who her real father is until when her mother was sick. She was finally told about her father, who had the heart to leave her and her mother. In addition, she was also left by her boyfriend. They used to have sex and didn't realize that Karen was pregnant until her boyfriend left her to go to another city. Since then, she never communicated with her boyfriend again and became a mother at a very young age. At that moment, Karen told Oscar that she had found her father's place and was going to meet him, but there was doubt and fear in her heart. She was afraid that her father wouldn't believe her and consider her his child. She then asked for Oscar's opinion and very wisely. Oscar said that though there is such a thing as an ex-wife, there will never be such a thing as an ex-child. That advice convinced Karen to meet her father. In addition, Karen also said that she would also bring her son who was still six named Jempa and hoped that her father would accept her and her son. Again, Oscar advised Karen that she would be able to steal her father's attention and win his heart without any problem by doing simple things like making breakfast, cleaning the house, and so on. After that, Karen also said that she wanted to sing for her father, so Oscar immediately told her to take part in the singing competition. Hearing that, Karen was interested in participating. Familia FM Radio was a radio station loved by everyone, mostly women, especially if the announcer was Oscar, the handsome guy with sweet lips that could conquer every woman's heart. He was indeed a famous radio announcer and a celebrity, but the fame made him a playboy who liked to change partners. After the broadcast, Oscar went straight to his friend's place to shoot a commercial video. There, he met a senior journalist named Sanusi and had a conversation with him. At that time, Sanusi asked when he was going to get married. Oscar replied that he wanted to marry a woman who already had grown children because he didn't like kids. For him to take care of some kids was a troublesome thing. After that, Oscar immediately left from there to avoid Sanusi finding out about himself, knowing that Sanusi's job was to look for celebrity scandals and sold that information or blackmail the celebrity for money. In the evening, Oscar prepared a romantic dinner at his house while waiting for his new lover to come. Not long after, he heard a knock on the door and immediately ran to open the door, hoping that it was his lover. Instead came a young girl with a kid. It was Karen, the one who often contacted Familia FM Radio and confided in Oscar about the search for her biological father. Oscar was surprised when he found out that the woman was Corinne and thought that she must have gone to the wrong address. Corinne then told him that her purpose for coming was to find her father and even more surprising, it turned out that he was her father. How shocked Oscar was when he heard that he was the father Corinne had been looking for all this time. Even more, he was shocked when he realized that he had a grandson. At first, Oscar couldn't believe that Karen is his daughter. Karen then told him her mother's name and that she was Oscar's first love. Karen also said to him that he once lived in the same village as her mother, the village where she came from. After hearing all that explanation, Karen was finally allowed to enter while still being asked for her details. Shortly after, Oscar's lover came and made him panic. Karen and Jempa were hidden in one of the rooms Then Oscar went straight to his girlfriend, afraid that his girlfriend would see Karen or Jempa. He decided to break up with her. Of course, that made his girlfriend angry and left there. After his girlfriend left, Oscar spoke again with Karen, but since he still didn't believe Karen's words and also thought that Karen did this on purpose so that she could become famous by taking advantage of his fame, Oscar immediately kicked them out of his house. But when Karen was about to leave, he threatened Oscar by saying that if the media found out that Oscar had a daughter and grandson, his whole career would end in a matter of second. It scared him enough to let Karen stay though he still wanted to prove the truth by DNA tests the next day. In the morning, Oscar was shocked by the mess. Leftovers were everywhere, toys were scattered on the table, the laundry was hung in the backyard, and the kitchen was a mess because Karen was making breakfast. While kept nagging, Oscar cleaned everything up and then invited Karen to do a DNA test at a vet owned by his friend after breakfast. At the clinic, Oscar and Karen's samples were taken for the DNA test, but unfortunately, the result would come out after 10 days. 
Hearing that made Oscar panic and uncomfortable because while waiting for the results, Karen and Jempa would stay at his house so he couldn't freely invite women to his house. For 10 days, Oscar lived his days with Karen and Jempa. Until finally the time came for the DNA test result to come out. It was proven by the test results that Karen was Oscar's biological daughter. Oscar felt the dilemma, panicked and feared that his career would be destroyed when the media found out but he also didn't have the heart to disown Karen. He had no other choice but to accept the truth. One day, the loyal listeners of Familia FM Radio started asking about the continuation of Karen's story. One of the staff had tried to contact Karen, but of course, Oscar immediately stopped them as he didn't want his secret to be revealed. He forbade them, even the director of the radio, from contacting Karen. He reasoned that Karen would be emotionally disturbed if asked about her personal affairs only for the sake of increasing the radio ratings. Fortunately, the director and his friends believed his words and decided not to contact Karen. To cover his secret, Oscar made up a story about Karen who was looking for her father and then read it when he was broadcasting. He made up a story where Karen and her father lived happily and that she was very loved by her father, whereas in reality, Oscar didn't like her a bit and he seemed indifferent to her and Jempa. After reading the story about Karen, Oscar informed the listeners again regarding the singing competition held by Familia FM Radio and right on that day, the auditions started. Turned out, Karen joined the auditions but she used the pseudonym Zareda. Of course, Karen's participation as an audition participant made Oscar panic because he was afraid that everyone would find out that he already had a daughter, but to keep his secret, he acted professionally and let Curran attend the audition. Karen's voice, which was so melodious, got a good response from loyal listeners on the radio and increased the radio station's rating. The director was very happy to see that. After the audition was over, Oscar told Karen to withdraw and not continue the audition because he didn't want everyone to know about her. After all, it would ruin his career, but Karen refused. She still wanted to take part in the audition. She also convinced Oscar that his secret would not be revealed. The next day, Oscar still insisted to tell Karen to withdraw from the audition while using Jempa as the reason. Oscar said that nobody would look after Jempa if she still come to the audition. While smiling, Karen replied that she would register Jempa to school so that later someone would look after him when she was attending the audition. Hearing the answer, Oscar was silent and he followed Karen's words to register Jempa to school. Before entering the school, Oscar taught Jempa to answer that he came to school with his uncle if someone asked. When they entered, both were stunned to see beautiful women there. Jempa was stunned by his beautiful classmates while Oscar was stunned to see the beauty of the school's principal. This made them closer as Oscar often used Jempa to find out about Mita, the principal of Jempa's school. He had all information from Jempa, starting from Mita's condition, her favorite food, and so on, until one day, Oscar had a chance to have dinner with her. It seemed that Mita also started to like Oscar. One time, Mita told Oscar about Gempa's situation at school. Turned out, Jempa liked his classmate, but because of his shabby appearance, he was often bullied by his friends. Oscar was sad to hear that while seeing his grandson. Not only Gempa, but Yu Karen was also bullied by Oscar's friends because she looked shabby during her first performance at the singing audition. Hearing this, Oscar suddenly became angry with his friends and he told them to stop bullying Karen. Couldn't stand hearing insults aimed at his daughter and grandson, Oscar took them to buy expensive clothes and shoes so they wouldn't be bullied again and sure enough, when they changed their appearance, everyone stopped bullying them, even amazed to see the change in Gempa and Curran. At the second edition, which was live streaming on YouTube, Karen's performance got better and was liked by many people. However, there was one man named Downing. He was fascinated by Karen's voice and beauty, and without thinking twice, he immediately met Karen on Familia FM radio. From this meeting, it turned out that both had known each other. They recalled the time when they were still in school. One day, Danang and Karen met again in a cafe. They seemed to be getting closer. It was discovered that Danang had liked Karen since their school days. There, Danang used the moment to confess to Karen, but it seemed that Karen had a bad pass and the trauma was still there. Remembering that her boyfriend abandoned her when she was pregnant, Karen chose not to respond to Danang's confession. After spending time together, both came home. When Karen arrived, she found Oscar, who had started to care about her, waiting for her to come home because it was late at night. Unfortunately, it turned out that Danang was secretly following her. He saw the moment when Oscar was hugging Karen and immediately took their picture, while thinking that Karen was a call girl paid by Oscar. The next day, Danang asked Karen what kind of relationship she had with Oscar. Before Karen had the chance to explain who Oscar really was, suddenly Danang accused her of being a call girl. Danang did not accept that she was close to Oscar and told her that Oscar was not a good man. Hearing the insults from Danang aimed at her father made her angry and left. What happened at that time had an impact on Danang's job as a photographer. While he was working, he kept looking at photos of Karen and Oscar on his laptop. 
Unfortunately, at that time, the photo studio where Donang worked was handling a client and the client was Sanusi. Sanusi saw the intimate photo between Karen and Oscar, and of course, for Sanusi, it was a chance to milk money from Oscar. He then asked for the photo, and after that, he went to Familia FM Radio to meet the director and threatened to ruin the reputation, if not given some money. The director didn't seem to be afraid of the threat. He even asked a conspirator to increase his radio rating by making a drama about the scandal between Oscar and Karen. On the other hand, when Oscar was discussing the audition suddenly, one of his friends asked about the closeness between Oscar and Karen. He thought that Oscar had a scandal even calling Karen a call girl. Hearing this, Oscar suddenly became furious. A fight almost broke between them. This incident made Oscar afraid that his career would be ruined, so he took it out on Karen and said that she deliberately used him to get famous. Oscar's fear of his career being destroyed because of Karen's presence made him angry, and he disowned her. What Oscar had said at that time made Karen's feelings broken. She decided to leave there and return to her hometown. The next day, Oscar realized that he had hurt his daughter's feelings and he wanted to apologize, but unfortunately, Karen was gone, leaving only a letter saying the purpose she came only to find him, the only one she had left because she no longer had anyone. Karen's departure made Oscar feel very guilty. He was longing for her. His days with Karen and Jempa made a special memory in his heart. He then took advantage of the radio broadcast to convey a message to Karen, so that she would return and listen to him. As time passed, the final round of the singing competition finally came. From the results of the assessment, it turned out that Zareda or Curran had passed the final round, but unfortunately, she could not be contacted and of course, this became a problem. A threat to Oscar's career because the director threatened that if Zareda didn't show up, Oscar was asked to resign, but who would have thought that it turned out, Karen listened to Oscar's messages and came to attend the final round. Oscar was emotional when he was able to meet his daughter again. After that meeting, Karen was asked to prepare for her performance. At this moment, Jempa was told to wait in the waiting room alone while at the same time the radio director was planning something evil with Sanusi to destroy Oscar's career. Sanusi was directed to kidnap Jempa to cause an uproar at the event and the media would reveal the relationship between Oscar and Karen. The director's plan succeeded in making a scene because Karen was shocked when her son disappeared. She kept screaming and crying looking for him until finally she went up on stage to ask Oscar for help to look for Jempa. But at that time, Oscar was hosting an event and Karen was pulled by security. But seeing her threatened badly by the security made Oscar angry and immediately hugged her in front of everyone. This is where Oscar's secret was exposed. The media immediately approached him and began to question what was the relationship between Karen and Oscar. Cornered with the questions from the journalist and Karen who kept crying, Oscar finally told the truth that Karen is his daughter and Jempa is his grandson. Shortly after, Jempa appeared and Karen immediately hugged him. Just a sec after everything calmed down, Danang suddenly appeared furiously, accusing Oscar as the man who had destroyed Karen's life. Before everything went further, Oscar asked Karen about Danang, and Karen immediately replied that Danang was the father of Jempa, who used to leave her when she was pregnant. Hearing this, it was Oscar who became furious with Danang because he had impregnated his daughter and abandoned her. At the same time, Sanyusi was beaten by someone whose name was tarnished by him. A fight between them broke until they were finally separated by the guard and both were finally arrested. After all the incidents, the director approached Oscar and told him to prepare a clarification video for his scandal. The man behind the incident was the director. He deliberately caused a scene regarding Oscar's scandal only to crank up his radio station's rating. Oscar, who knew the director's evil plan, decided to resign. He no longer cared about his career and only cared for the happiness of his family. On the next day, everyone gathered, including Danang, who was ready to marry Karen and take responsibility for his mistakes in the past.